And there's a little baby. Hell yeah. Baby Anki, you're so cute and adorable and sweet and kind and you're gonna be a vicious monster with a club someday. Guys, welcome back to the aisle. This is going to be entirely different compared to what I usually do in the aisle. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a cinematic experience, okay? It's not gonna be anything too terrifying, like, oh my god, there's a monster coming down the river. No, it's not gonna be anything like that. This is going to be a more kind, loving episode where we watch me and some people raise a baby. But on top of that, I have some really cool stuff I wanted to show you. And I actually got a piece of fan art that I really appreciated. And it's like next level. I wanted to show you guys this. So if you do enjoy these, I guess, not even documentary styled videos, but like cinematic styled videos, let me know in the comment section down below for sure. Or leave a like on the video. I'm super interested to hear some feedback from you guys on this. And well, let's, uh, let's get it. Oh, wait, no, I have news for you. Uh, I have a personal project I'm working on. I have a professional voice actor. Like, this guy can do stuff for, like, Discovery Channel, for instance. Um, I'm in contact with someone for that right now because I do want to actually direct my own little documentary within the aisle of, like, the life cycle of a creature. And this would be voiced by this guy, obviously. It wouldn't be me with commentary and stuff, but it's it would be really cool. There's going to be, like, effects and, and different stuff like that. I'm going to use all of my editing knowledge over the last, like, 1,600 videos I've made to really make something that you guys might enjoy enjoy it's just something i really want to do i think you guys would enjoy it so let me know what you want the life cycle to be on what creature you want to see and now we can get into the cool stuff so i want to touch base with you guys on the aisle as a whole and dinosaur riding dinosaur dinosaur riding and some of the cool stuff that they had planned for the game to my knowledge dinosaur riding and taming is still a planned feature but i'm not exactly sure when it's going to be a feature within the game but we do have some cool concept art and some different things that we can look forward to when it comes to the game and all that cool stuff. I don't know if that means we'll be able to, like, tame AI Uteraptors or if it'll be, like, you know, player-controlled dinosaurs that we can control and, and kind of do stuff with. I do know there was a taming method in mind where they would hook the dinosaurs and kind of force you to do stuff as a player, but I don't know if that's still a project they want to do or not. Secondly, I want to touch base on a project that was scrapped a while ago, and it was on the Neural Rex. Now, I showed you guys a picture of this thing a while ago. The Neural Rex itself was more or less almost done in my mind. The modeling was there, and everything was kind of ready to go, but then they kind of just decided to scrap the project. I'm thinking they scrapped the project because they have more talented people now to do the project with. And at the time, the game wasn't really at a state where they wanted to have those kinds of creatures. And like, it wouldn't have had any effects or anything. And now they act they have like an actual dev team to do these things. So, I mean, it works out. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below about the Neural Rex and anything you think this, this thing should do. I know there were a lot of people saying the EMP that the Spino gets should be unique to that creature alone. So, I don't know, I don't know what the Neural Rex would do then. I just know that it's probably going to be some kind of telepathy and some other stuff if it does decide to, well, if Donnie does decide to give it some really cool features. Now, one thing I do want to let you guys know as well is that, incredibly enough, the Nadabranto, the Puerta, is not going to be around soon. It's 99% gone, basically. They, they want to bring a Bracky in instead of the... Wait, what? They have a Chimera, too, though. Why would they want to bring in the Bracky? All right, whatever. I'm not even going to question it. It's... it's. They have a reason, I'm sure. But yeah, you guys that like playing as the Nata Bronto, you're about to have a really bad time because it's not going to be around for much longer once they have the Bracky prepared to go. I want to share this with you guys because I thought this was really cool and it was sent to me on Discord a while ago and I I haven't actually had the time to slot it into any videos but now I really want to show you guys. Someone actually made a 3D model of the Neuro Spino and I thought it was really well done. I like the color pattern that they chose with black and white and I love how they actually decided to make the model as a, as a whole more or less. Like I thought it was really cool and it's a really nice project that they worked on so... I just wanted to give some credit where credit is due, and I'm going to actually list the name right here of the person that decided to make this. It's super cool, so thank you so much. I really appreciate it.
The last thing I want to show you guys is of the Nikta, its size, and I think this is something I've actually shown you guys in the past, more or less. And this, it's like the size of a Magna, but I don't know 100% if I want it to be this size or not. The thing about it, too, is that this thing only needs its sounds, and then it's good to go within the game. The, the Nikta is done. It just needs its sounds. And I'm actually speaking to someone from the Subnautica dev team about getting some sounds created. I don't know how much it's going to cost... And I'm not even sure the direction of what I want this thing to sound like, but either it's it's going to be cool, and you guys wanted an update. I've, I've been seeing comments about it. So there's your little update on the Nikta and the size of it. Potentially could be only the size of the Rex. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. And that's kind of unfortunate, I guess. But the next thing I want to move into is some old concept work that they had of a human environment that you created with a tent, and you've got a tool down there by some wood. Like, it's it was a really cool idea. I think the direction that they want to go as far as this stuff is still there. I think they still definitely want to do this stuff. It's just now they have better shading, they have better graphics in general. So now things should be a lot smoother. Things should look way better, more or less. It is an older thing though, so I <laughs> I have no guarantees on if this will make it to the game continuously or not. It's, it's like they do so many iterations on the game. What are you guys up to? You guys doing something you shouldn't be doing? We got a Packy Posse. Not many people play as the Packy either. They're actually really weak. So the fact that people are playing as them right now is kind of weird. All right. Hashtag Packy Posse in the comments section, I guess, because this is uh, pretty wild. So look at them. They're freaking fast. Skittering around. Look at them. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> god that's actually kind of cool i like it oh hey little guy what are you doing is it one male and all females my god you're a stud hell yeah dude you are such a stud <laughs> look at you go you got all your all your females with you oh look at you i think that's the male maybe that's a female who knows oh god calm down little guy <laughs> i love it that's so cool Finally, I have some Twitch clips here from Dondi that I wanted to show you guys of the new movement system in play. I also have some news about the health system as well, and, well, that's basically all of the new stuff. Then we watch these guys kind of do their own thing. I'll probably switch off to an actual different thing, though. The Yankee is tiny as hell, but you're adorable, so it's okay. But no, this is more or less on the Rex and, like, all of the other creatures that are getting this movement update where they can move in angular motions and you're not basically flat no matter what surface you go through. You kind of, like, step over things. And in this, actually, the Rex looks like it tries to step over some stuff. I thought it was kind of cool. So you guys are going to take a look at that right now.
So that's basically all of the stuff. Now, as far as the health system goes, from what I understand, there's going to be an iteration soon where it's no longer based on minute ticks. It's going to be like any other health systems in games where it's dynamic, like every second it'll update, every couple seconds it'll update, whatever. And you'll have more of a chance, I guess, to survive because as we know right now, we get like health per tick and then like every couple seconds we lose health from bleed and that kind of sucks right now i don't like that system it feels very unbalanced and unfair thankfully they're going to be working on a system where it's more of a dynamic health pool and the way you take damage the way you heal will be entirely different now you guys can see <laughs> there's actually a rule brought into risen realism where it could be unlimited aloe packs and stuff they're currently iterating some rules so uh, ignore the massive Alopax that you may or may not see, because uh, I'm not sure how long they're going to be a thing for. By the way, <laughs> Risen Realism really blew up over the last couple of days. Like, in the last couple of days, these guys have blown up from, like, 200 members to over 1,000. And they went from, like, an average of 20 players to, like, 150 every day, capping out the server and kind of just having fun. And I've been playing here a lot, too, so it's kind of cool to interact with you guys. I talk in global, you guys are all, hey, what's up? Yo, what's up? What's going on, man? And, uh, it's, it's cool. I like it. You guys should definitely check out the server if you haven't already. I'll be playing later today, actually, because I want to try and progress some other things, but that's basically that. As far as any other news, I don't really know anything else that's happening with the Isle. Uh, the only thing really I can touch base on is, uh, Codename Hades or Project Hades, whatever it is, where we do believe that the Hypo Utah is going to be coming to the game because I had a DM on Discord pointing towards the uh, AE transmissions, more or less, and the loading screens. And in those loading screens, it references a Utah paddock and then a code Hades in with those. So I do believe the Hypo Utah, meaning the Hades project, is like 30%-ish complete, you know, per the tweet that they put up. So I'm thinking we're going to be seeing a Hypo Utah really soon. Anyways, it seems like we have a group of turkeys moving down the hill, and the child, by the way, was successfully grown to the limit it could because of Sandbox, so we're kind of off that now, but we do have a group of terror turkeys right here, kind of just exploring the wild, doing their own thing. Not sure what their plans are. I assume food and water followed by sleeping. I mean, that's what a turkey would do. That's what I'd do if I was a turkey. I'd eat, sleep, crap, and drink i guess yeah i mean that's basically what i do and defend myself from any predators that might be around but that's basically it oh my god just taking a break from the uh the fanciness look at all these aloes there's so many of them i remember i'm trying to find a clip in this recording where a pew apparently stomped all the aloes or a giant group of them and i, I want to find that because i'm such a dick <laughs> I, I remember someone saying in Global that the Pew walked over randomly and stomped a whole group of them and, like, killed all of them. And the entire time, I was drinking, like, over here. I think that might be me, actually, right there. But I remember I was drinking from the water as a Spino. And I, I saw the Pew walk into the water. And I was like, dude, I hope he tail swings. I hope he tail swings. Please do it. It'd be so funny. And he didn't do it. And then I guess when he's not... Oh, yeah, this is... This is... I think this is me. Is it? No, that's not me. That's not me. That's someone else. I remember they were killing him. It was just after this. And let me see if I can zoom through this. Which, if you guys don't know the replay feature, it's definitely something you should invest your time into because you can get some really cool stuff. Uh, is it right here? Is it right here? No, it's not right here. I think he's just building his trust with them. Look at me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm a gentle giant. I'm not going to do anything to you. I think this might be... This might be where it happens. Somewhere similar around here. Let me see. I'm just... I'm just curious because... I don't... I hope it's in this recording. It looks like it might be. And I'm trying to find it. Is it right here? Crap, I guess it wasn't, but I do remember this happening. The Spino apparently attacked a bunch of aloes. And it was just a bad time because it was a tiny... It was a giant territory scuffle. Oh, yeah. They're going into it. See, having that many creatures in one pack is really dangerous because crossfire happens so much, and it's just a bad time. Aloes, in general, shouldn't be trying to take on a Spino anyways, I feel like. And I'm sorry this is so dark, but I don't have night vision while I'm in this mode. Yeah, I remember this specifically because he killed a lot of those aloes. And the aloes really didn't do much to him. Damn, look at that! They're all freaking swarming in like mosquitoes! It's like, uh, it's like bees when one stings and the pheromone goes out and then they all decide to attack the one person that's stung. 
There we go. It's getting brighter now. That's good. Oh, yeah. One of the owls got bit. Damn, another one died. Spino is tanky as hell. And he's not even a big Spino. Like, this is a, a baby adult Spino, basically. Like, they're still growing. And this guy just doesn't even care. He just wants to eat. Damn. Little scuffle. Oh, look at the baby. I didn't even know he was there. I thought this actually all started because a baby got killed or something. Damn, aloes don't back down. By rates, I feel like the Spino should be kind of intimidated. And maybe move away. But I guess this guy is just fearless. Yep, he's just fearless. So I might actually take a moment to go into the game. I want to show you guys something cool, too. That uh, I found out when I was playing, actually. And it, I thought it was a bug at first. And then I realized it's an actual thing. So, like, server owners, for instance, will actually love this. Sorry I didn't find the pew thing, by the way. I, I looked around. I, I guess I just don't have it recorded or I didn't uh, I didn't press recording. No, here's the cool thing I wanted to show you guys. So if you're an admin currently on any server that you play on, you can press the this key right here, the forward slash. I think it's forward slash. Yeah, you press that. And then if you want to zoom around somewhere on the map, you can actually hold shift and press that same button and it'll teleport you to that location and I didn't know it was an actual thing until I found it through an accident because I pressed it and then I was just pressing shift you know moving forwards and then I clicked it again and I noticed that it came up in the chat box you cannot teleport to this location or something like that and I was like wait a second I can teleport the character itself and apparently teleportation is a thing and I remember specifically um I asked Dondi about this a while ago and I was like why don't you guys have like admin commands for server owners why can't we like teleport dinosaurs around as admin uh, admins and stuff like that and why doesn't that work and it was because of exploitations or something or like it would be possible to actually hack a feature like this and use cheats basically to teleport you around the map through like injections or something like that so get out of here dino but <laughs> that was basically that i think i'm gonna end the video right there guys there's not really much more i have to talk about with you or really show you um, I just figured some of you guys would appreciate that. Some of you wanted to see the lava location again, which, I mean, it wasn't really anything fancy, so I don't know why you want to see it. The volcano was one thing I haven't seen, and, uh, I actually haven't shown it on video yet. I gotta sneeze. Oh, no. <coughs> uh, oh, God. I'm so professional. I'm a professional idiot. I hope you guys enjoyed that sneeze. And if you had a sneeze fetish, you enjoyed that, didn't you? You perverts. Funny story, I'm actually looking for the volcano when I can't find it. And it's, it's kind of weird. Is it over on that end of the map, or...? Is it over here? I could swear it was on this side. Somewhere. Maybe it's on the other side. I know the volcano... Or there's lava down there. Maybe the volcano's over here somewhere, and I'm just thinking... I might have my, my ass backwards on this. Because I don't see the smoke coming from anywhere. There's a pond down there, and then there's nothing over here. Swamp is right there. No, I specifically remember it being over this way, because I was talking to Don when he was a hypo giga. And he hadn't seen the volcano, funny enough. He wanted to see it. Yeah, it was like right here. Cool. Great broadcast, bud. I appreciate that. I don't know. Maybe it was up here. I might be wrong. Just give me a second, guys. Damn, I suck. I can't find it. Like, I've looked around everywhere. And I really don't have time to continuously look for one volcano. So I'm going to end the video right there. That's it. I Sorry, guys. Couldn't, couldn't find it. And I'm kind of embarrassed about that because I should know the map. But apparently I don't unless it was removed. I mean, I... I... Up there. No, it's not there. All right, guys. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. Interested to hear what you guys have to say and the ideas on the documentary that I want to make for the Isle, more or less. I think the game's in a state now where I could actually do something like that, and it would look decently well since there's not too much lag on servers anymore and stuff like that. So, yeah. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. If you like the cinematic feel more, I will see you in the next video.